smartwatch operating system is the best? Is it the watch OS from Apple or the Google Wear OS from Google or the Tizen OS from Samsung or is it the Harmony OS from Huawei? Let's find out in today's video. Hi guys, this is Big Phil and welcome back to another video. This time, we're going to be comparing all the top smartwatch operating system in the world from Apple, from Samsung, from Huawei and from Google. We're going to compare all the different watch faces, their features, their health features, their fitness features, everything about this top four operating system. And at the end of this video, we're going to find out which one I believe is the best. And please, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification for a lot of good videos come up on Big Fail TV. Now, let me start this video by talking about the compatibility of this operating system. That means if you're buying any smartwatch that are running this operating system, which smartphone can you, compare, can you pair it to? First of all, the Apple Watch OS is only compatible with iPhones. That means if you have an Apple Watch, you can only use it on an iPhone. No other smartphone is compatible with the Watch OS only iPhone. For the Google Wear OS, there are so many smartwatches out there running the Google Wear OS. Like the one I have here, this is the Mobvoi Tick Watch E3. It is running on the Google Wear OS and it runs so well. So you can buy any smartwatch that's running the Google Wear OS and you use it on any smartphone. You can use it on iPhones or Android smartphones, but Huawei smartphones are not compatible with the Google Wear OS. For the Harmony OS, which is running on Huawei smartwatches, they are only compatible with Huawei smartphones and Android smartphones. If you pair them up to an, to an iPhone, yes, you can pair it up to an iPhone, but there'll be a lot of limitations in features. For the Tizen, which is running on the Galaxy Watch, especially the previous Galaxy Watches, because the Galaxy Watch 4 is running the Google Wear OS. The one I have here, this is a Galaxy Watch 3, so it has a Tizen system. It is compatible with Android smartphones, Huawei smartphones, and iPhones. So the Tizen version is compatible on variety, on wide variety of smartphones. And when it comes to the layout of this operating system, some of them are similar to each other and some are completely different from each other. Now, let's start by talking about the watch OS from Apple. It is completely different from these other three. Now, the watch OS, which when you click on the rotating crown and thanks to the rotating crown, it makes navigating the watch so easy. You don't have to touch the screen at all time because the rotating crown helps you to either zoom in and out of all the different uh, menu options, as you can see right here. And if you want to access the watch faces, you simply just swipe. That's one thing I love about the watch OS. You don't have to click and hold like other uh, operating system. On the watch OS, you simply just swipe either from left to right or from right to left to access all the different watch faces. And if you want to uh, access the control center, you simply just swipe from bottom to top it takes you to all the different essential features. Like if you swipe from top to bottom, it takes you to all the different notifications. So it's very easy to access everything on the watch OS. Now, if we go into the Google Wear OS, it is very similar to the others. Now, if you click on the here, it takes you to all the different menu options, which is right here. And if you're, if you're using a smartwatch that has either a rotating crown or a rotating bezel, it's going to make navigating the Google Wear OS so easy. But the watch I have here doesn't have any of those. So I have to do it by touching the screen, which is going to leave a lot of smudges on the screen. And if you want to access watch faces on the Google Wear OS, you have to click and hold, then you swipe from either left to right or right to left. And if you want to access the different notification, you swipe from bottom to top, that's it. And if you want to access the quick uh, control center, top to bottom, and that's it. Then if we get into the Harmony OS from which is running on my Huawei Watch 3 Pro, it has a rotating crown like Apple Watch, which is great. And it has almost the same layout as the Apple Watch, as you can see right here. And thanks to the rotating crown, it makes navigating the watch so easy. You see right here, you can zoom in and out the same as the Apple Watch. <laughs> so I believe someone copied somebody here. Then if you want to access 
the different notifications swipe from bottom to top, the same as the Google Wear OS. If you want to access the quick control center, top to bottom. Then finally, the Tizen. The Tizen uh, OS, which is running on my Galaxy Watch 3. So if you want to use a Tizen OS, you have to buy a Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 and the previous. If you have the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, it's going to be running on the Google Wear OS. Now, one advantage with the Tizen OS is the fact that the Galaxy Watches have this uh, rotating bezel, which, man, on my opinion, is the best feature on all smartwatches. It makes navigating a watch so easy. Like, the percentage of touching your screen on the Galaxy Watch is so few. Like, I would say like 10% of you touching your screen. On these other smartwatches, you can use the rotating crown, but you have to keep touching the screen to do so many things. But on the Galaxy Watch, running the tides and hours, it's just, a not it's just the rotating bezel, as you can see right here. So it makes navigating the watch so easy. If you get into the menu options, the different features, you see, use the uh, rotating bezel. Everything, so easy. If you get into the settings, the layout is so simple. You see right here, everything is in the block. So, on my opinion, the operating system that has the best layout will be the Tizen OS because it works so well on a smartwatch. Navigating the Galaxy Watch is so easy thanks to the Tizen OS. Now, let's talk about the watch faces that you get if you're using any of this operating system. First of all, the default watch faces. That means the watch faces made by the manufacturer, made by these companies. I would say the watch OS has the best uh, default watch faces because the watch faces on that you use on the Apple watch are all made by Apple and they're good their quality are incredible their sharpness their colors their contrast all the watch faces that you get from an Apple watch are just incredible so when it comes to the default watch faces the Apple watch running the watch overs is the number one then secondly the Tizen. Samsung also makes a lot of great watch faces, sharp, good contrast watch faces. Then third is going to be the Google Wear OS and the last Harmony OS. And when it comes to the third party watch faces, the best is from the Tizen OS. Tizen OS have like millions of great third party watch faces and Lots of them are free. Few, very few, you have to buy. You have to pay a, a very little amount of money for them. But the majority of the watch, of the third-party watch faces on Tizen are free. And they are great. They are incredible. Then, secondly, the Google Wear OS. The Google Wear OS also have a lot of great third-party watch faces. And number three, the Harmony OS. The Harmony OS is new. So third party watch faces are just coming. There are very few right now, but with time, there'll be a lot of uh, developers making watch faces for the Harmony OS. And the last is the watch OS. Apple doesn't allow third party watch faces on the Apple Watch, but some people can have it. I don't know how they're doing it, probably by downloading some other different software and APKs in order to have third party watch faces on an Apple Watch. But naturally, Apple doesn't allow third-party watch faces on their smartwatches. And for customization of the watch faces, the watch OS is the best. Why? Because it is highly customizable. Like if you get into edits, just the colors. There are so many colors. I would say there are about 50 different colors you can use to customize the watch faces of your Apple Watch. Like, check it out. Like colors that I've never seen before are here on the Apple Watch. Like check out this one. This one is English lavender. There's watermelon. There is clover. Like just lots of colors. And for the complications, also the watch always has highly the highest amount of complication of every watch faces. Like here, we got one, two, three, four, five complications. So you can change it. You can put the date here, the calendar, the time, uh, a different time zone, contacts, so many things you can put on your watch faces. So the watch OS from Apple is highly, has highly customizable watch faces. Secondly, Tizen. Tizen watch faces are also highly customizable, but not at the level of uh, the watch overs. As you can see right here, you can change the different uh, hands, the colors, 
complications, but the complications are, are not as much as on the Apple Watch. Then, the Harmony Hours. Harmony Hours has, I would say, just very few complications, and not all the watch faces have complications. As you can see, this watch face right here doesn't have any complication, but this one does. So when you tap here, you can simply change what? Just one, two things. That's all. Then, the Google Wear OS also have few complications, very few, and not all watch faces have complications. So when it comes to customizing a watch face, the winner is the Apple Watch, which is running the watch OS. And when it comes to the different exercises that you can track using these smart watches, all these operating systems are great. You wouldn't go wrong buying any smartwatch that's running any of this operating system for the exercises that you can track. They all, they all have like 100 plus different exercises that you can track using your smartwatch. But I would say the watch overs on the Apple Watch has a slight edge, a little edge over the other three because there are some type of exercises that I think no one will ever use. There are just so many, lots of different exercises. For the health features, all these operating systems are good. But the clear winner among these four operating systems is going to be the WatchOS and the Tizen. The Apple Watch and the Galaxy Watch has lots of different health features. Like everything that you think of are available for the Apple Watch and Galaxy Watch. They have the ECG, the blood oxygen, the whole day heart rate tracking, sleep tracking, breathing exercises, stress tracking, and tons of different health features are available on the Apple Watch and Galaxy Watch. The Google Wear OS have few. Not everything are available on the Google Wear, uh, the, the uh, smart watches running the Google Wear OS. And the Harmony OS, on my opinion, is the last. Why? Because very few things are not available there. ECG is not available there and other health features. In terms of applications, the clear winner is the Watch OS and the Google Wear OS. Those two operating systems have the best well, applications that you can use on any smartwatch, and they are very optimized for those smartwatches. The Apple Watch, the Apple Wear OS has things like the noise measurement, which I've never seen on any other app. It has walkie talkie, it has compass, and it has Spotify. Uh, a lot of great applications are available on the watch OS and the Google Wear OS also has lots of applications. And that's one reason why companies like Samsung decided to use the Google Wear OS on the Galaxy Watch 4. The Tizen is all right, but not but doesn't have great applications like the watch OS and the Google Wear OS. And those are all the differences and similarities between the Google Wear OS from Google the watch overs from Apple, the Harmony overs from Huawei, and the Tizen overs from Samsung. Let me know down in the comment section, guys, which one is your favorite operating system. I would love to hear what you guys think about all this operating system. But if it's me, the one I believe is the best. Listen, I know all this operating system. They are great. They are all good on smartwatches. But if I have to pick one which I believe is overall the winner right now, I would say the watch OS from Apple is the top, the number one, because it overall it has great things. Overall, everything about it is great. The health features, the fitness features, the applications are incredible. The watch faces are beautiful. But don't get me wrong, all these operating systems are great. But if you, it simply just means if you have an Android smartphone, you can either use Tizen or Google Wear OS. If you have a Huawei smartphone, you can use the Harmony OS, the Google Wear OS, or Tizen. If you have an Apple, uh, an iPhone, you can only use an Apple Watch. So that's it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notification for a lot of good videos come up on Bigfield TV. Until then, see you into the next one. Peace.